Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about another operator that is nothing but buffer time. So same like buffer and buffer count, buffer count. So this buffer time will emit the value for a, in a particular period of time. Okay. Now if you try to see buffer the source va observable values for a specific time period. So previously in the buffer count, if a, if the maximum con, uh, count stack is reached means then it will emit as an array. So in the same scenario, if for a particular period of time, it will emit as an array. Now buffer time. So if you try to check here, marble diagram A, B, C. So here for every 100 milliseconds, it will be emitted. So A, B, it will be emitted as A, B here and C, D, it will be emitted as C, D, E. So uh, for 100, uh, 100 milliseconds, so it has uh, emitted C, D, E like that. So it, will, it is delivered here. F, G means F, G. So why it is delivered is so when, when the observable is complete, then it will be delivered automatically. Okay. Now you need to understand this one. Sorry, it is emitted automatically as an empty array here. FG after FG delivered. So when source observable is completed, it is emitted as an empty empty here. So this is the marble diagram. And you have an optional uh, uh, op uh, optional another argument that is nothing but the another time another time interval. You can also mention another, uh, you can also give another time interval also. So for that particular period of time, so buffer stack again it will be delivered emptying the buffer stack. I will show you that one how it will be. So now if you see here the examples now from even document click so they have they have taken from even document click here and for every thousand milliseconds they want to deliver so how many clicks has been hap happened for a particular one second period of time so it will deliver as an array so this is the thing about the buffer time let's try to see it in the real time how the buffer time will be now I am creating here one new component ng sorry ng ng gc components slash pages slash buffer time operator so i am creating a component buffer time operator let's go to the app routing module and in this app routing module the same thing so i can copy down here so this is nothing but buffer time okay we need to give buffer time operator here let's give it when it is uh, created i hope it is creating still okay let it create and here what we can do i am adding here buffer time so that we will have a this is all the things it will be in the output so that we can see at a time all the things now if i go to here whether this component is created or not yeah it is created now let's go to the app routing and here I will give buffer sorry buffer time operator that's it so now let's try to see this buffer time operator so where it is created buffer time component slash pages here only right let's try to refresh it one second I have component slash pages slash component slash pages buffer time operator it should be here in this one only right? okay it is placed in the wrong place let's drag it to the pages here okay let's move it replace it and uh, this pages will try to remove it yes fine let's see whether everything is working fine or not okay operator router outlet router outlet is not a known element what is this one okay we are getting an error that uh, okay mismatching is there let's try to see here and i will try to remove this one and let's try to add it again buffer time yeah let's go to the app module also maybe app module also pages yes yeah fine perfect everything is working fine let's try to see whether it is built or not yeah it's built successfully now let's try to see here in the operators in the buffer time it is working now let's try to implement this buffer time operator if i go to the buffer time operator in yeah here in this one let's try to have interval interval of for every second just emit the value 
so just emit the value console.log data okay just emit the value we are asking it, it so let's go to the console and in the console let's try to refresh it what happened here oh let's we need to import this interval right interval okay now if i try to see the output so for every second it will be delivered 0 1 2 3 like that right so now every second it is delivered right so now what, what i will be doing is i will keeping a buffer or time operator so don't deliver this one for every one second please deliver it for every two seconds so that means what it will happen 0 1 1 2 2 3 so these all things will be delivered now here if i try to refresh it so first time 0 is delivered why because so after one second it is delivered right so that is the reason 0 only so 1 2 3 4 so this will be delivered so that means buffer time is keeping it in the buffer for a particular period of time so for two seconds so for two seconds what it will happen it will be interval will deliver two values these will be kept in the buffer and after when the time is reached it will be delivered here as an array so this is the buffer same like buffer count operator it will be there but the buffer time operator is it has an a uh, parameter of time time so to, for a particular period of time it will store it in the buffer and you can also have a, another one for every three seconds create a new buffer for every three seconds create a new buffer so now what will happen here see zero now two three four again another buffer will be created five six seven so for every three seconds it will be created new buffer for example if you try to see thousand now let's try to see what will happen zero zero one two one two three so for every three uh, for every for every second so new buffer is getting created so here you are getting uh, for every second see if you try to see 17 18 19 and again in this one 18 19 20 you are having so for every second it is buffer it is creating and what are the values it is having it is delivering okay hope you understood about this buffer count operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and also if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also one thing so if you want to have this code everything so it is hosted in the github so you can go to my github tutorial so what i can say is github.com slash lila this is the this is my github so whatever the things what we are discussing rxjs right so rxjs basics basics here for each video i am keeping here like that for 14 hyphen video 15 hyphen for every video number i am keeping a separate branch so that you can see all the code here for that for that video what i have discussed okay hope you understood about this one and uh, what I can say is, so we will discuss about all the operators in this uh, RxJS tutorial. So we will learn about this RxJS, uh, these all operators, okay. Thank you.